There's some big buzz around electric vehicles today. Ford gave drivers and President Biden a sneak peek at its new all-electric F-150 pickup truck. It's called Lightning and officially debuts tomorrow. This as President Biden unveiled his new infrastructure plan, which includes $174 billion for e-cars and rebates and incentives for consumers who buy them. So while electric cars may help save the environment, will they save you money? Gordon Severson adds up the pros and cons for your wallet in tonight's Take Care of Your Money. This is a 2016 Nissan Leaf. We've had it for about two and a half years now. We love it. Melissa and Wenzel. And away we go. Isn't much of a car person, but she likes this one. We truly wanted to live our values, and our values meant trying to make this world a better place. She says helping the environment was the main reason why she decided to buy an electric car, but she later discovered an added bonus. Charging it at home was much cheaper than filling up at the gas station. For us, it's 20 to $40 a month when we charge at home. Compared to one to $200 a month at the gas pump. And looking under the hood, you'll find fewer parts, which means less maintenance and no oil changes. <laughs> nope, not at all. I don't even know what those cost anymore. And I was even asking, do you get two oil changes a year or four? I literally couldn't remember that because it's been so long. Melissa says it's hard to say exactly how much she's saving each month, but Chris Harto at Consumer Reports says it can be hundreds of dollars. On average, owners of electric vehicles spent around half as much to maintain their vehicle. He and his team recently performed an in-depth study of several electric vehicles, comparing them to other gas-powered vehicles on the market. They found that electric vehicles required 50% less maintenance, were 60% cheaper to run, and they hold their value. About as well as a conventional gas-powered vehicle. But they also found that most electric vehicles are more expensive starting out, and buying and installing a charger in your garage can set you back anywhere from one to $2,000. You know, you see this, this high sticker price, um, and it, it can it can turn people off. But Harto says there is a point where you break even and start saving money. When you compare apples to apples and look at other gas-powered cars in the same class, for hatchbacks like the Nissan Leaf, you can break even in about three and a half to five years. For sedans like the Honda Clarity, it's two years. For luxury models like the Tesla Model 3, compared to other luxury cars, you can break even in year one. And the study showed after you break even, the savings rate only goes up from there. Over the life of the vehicle, most will save you between six and $10,000. This vehicle requires so little maintenance. Now, one big cost that could change all of that is if you have to replace the battery at some point, which can cost thousands of dollars. According to several online sources, most batteries will last between 10 and 17 years. Melissa says her car is five years old and the battery life has only gone down one bar one out of 12, so her battery still has plenty of life to go. According to Consumer Reports, here in Minnesota, driving an electric vehicle will save you about $1,000 a year in gas. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that during the winter time, many of these vehicles, the range goes down dramatically. Like with Melissa's case, she tells me in the summer, she typically gets about 110 miles on a charge. But during the winter, it drops to about 70 to 80 miles. And when she goes out of town, she typically has to rent a car, which is an added cost. These are some things you need to keep in mind if you're interested in buying an electric vehicle. Gordon Severson, CARE 11 News.